close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to make the mind still with the breath. The breath comes in, the breath goes out and washes over the mind, washes over the body. Try to keep the mind still right here. Because <clears throat> we're going to see anything happening in the mind, you have to make it still first. But stillness on its own is not enough. You have to know where to look, what to look for. This is why we not only have meditation, but we also have Dharma talks. Listening to the Dharma, gain knowledge of the Dharma. The Buddha says that's a treasure. As I said, the benefits of listening to the Dharma are quite a few. You learn things you never learned before. You Things you have learned before, you, they become clearer. You overcome your doubts, and particularly the last two. You straighten out your views and the mind becomes serene. Because what does the Dharma teach? It teaches that your mind is the main influence in your life. And the reason you're suffering, you could look at things outside and say you're suffering because of this, that, and the other thing outside, but the Buddha says the real cause of the suffering is inside. It comes from the mind's ignorance, it comes from the mind's craving. So the, the problem is in here, but also the solution in here is, is in here as well. And when you realize that, it can make your mind serene about a lot of things. We look at the world right now, all the news that comes in, our minds are filled with stuff that comes in through the media. We're not sure what, what's true, what's not true, what's going to have an impact on us, and what's not going to have impact, and get the mind all stirred up. But the Dharma reminds you that what's really important is what you're doing right now, and that's under your control. The things of the world may change, but that doesn't necessarily have to make you suffer. And it's good to keep that in mind, so you don't have to worry about things outside. You can pay your attention to looking at your own mind and straightening out your own mind. And the knowledge, okay, the, the problem is in here, but the solution lies in here as well. That can make the mind serene. So this treasure of Dharma. Fill up your mind with as much Dharma as you can. Listen to Dharma talks, read Dharma books, instead of filling it up with all kinds of garbage coming in from outside about who did what there and where, and what's going to happen, and all the, all the forecasts. You can think of all the forecasts that have been made in the past about political events. How many of them are true? Very, very few. But the Buddha's forecast is if you don't let go of your craving, you don't let go of your clinging, you are going to suffer. That, for, that forecast is always true. So you can depend on that. So this way you have a treasure inside that when things come popping up into the mind, it's not just old commercial jingles or news from who knows where. You're listening, you're tuning into the, the Buddha's channel, let's put it that way. It's a source of clarity, it's a source of non-confusion, and it's a source of serenity. Realizing that no matter how bad things get out there, they don't have to touch the quality of your mind, if you train it well. When you have that kind of understanding, you come to meditation with a lot clearer idea of what needs to be done. And the meditation has a deeper and deeper effect. So this way, this learning becomes a treasure. It creates other treasures in the mind. So make, remember, when you're making a choice, do you want to listen to the news outside, or do you want to listen to the, the Dharma news? The Dharma news is always the same. You want to be happy, you practice generosity, you practice virtue, you practice meditation. You develop discernment so that you can free the mind from the things that are causing it to suffer. That possibility is never mentioned in the news coming from outside, but it's the most important possibility in your life. And as you keep that in mind, that becomes your treasure as well.